Is that a cowboy's star over there? Or a Texas star? Hi, this is Lou. Mary Lou. You know, when I was a kid, I never liked my name. And it's a pretty popular name in, in the South or in North Carolina. Betty Lou. My name's Mary Lou. I don't know all the different names, you know, but there's a bunch of them. Anyway, I got interrupted on my walk earlier, so I looked to see how far I walked, and it's only a three quarters of a mile. So I'm going to walk a little bit more. Well, this tree has got a broken branch and dead leaves, so I took it off. I do things I probably should not do, like touch other people's trees. But these are in between the sidewalk and the road, so I'm probably okay. <laughs> okay, I'm a silly beaver. I used to live in Texas, barely eight miles down in the Panhandle, a town called Perrington. And then I went and married a guy with the last name Perry. <laughs> <sighs> and then, after years and a bunch of trouble and stuff, I find out that, I mean, I guess I found out earlier. I found out other things later. His first wife was named Mary Lee. So that's Mary L. And I'm Mary Lou, which is Mary L. <laughs> I paid... I paid for the sins of another, okay? Because those people around there thought I was you, if you see this. I found out later, way later, when they go sending me a piece of mail to my house and it's, and it's not to me, and they think it's to me and it's from the courthouse. So, <laughs> makes sense, you know? So for, I didn't know. So anyway, I'll get off that subject. It's just you guys be careful. You know, my girlfriend offered to do a background check <laughs> before I married him. But oh no. <laughs> and I should have done that. You people need to do stuff like that. Don't be getting married so fast either. I got married way too fast. After being single for years. And I, I mean, I chose to be single, okay? <laughs> and then all of a sudden I just jump. What a nut. Okay, so there's an airplane going by with a big old long tail. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it up there? I'm, I'm taking it that you can see that airplane leaving that trail. And it's not staying near as long as those ones I showed you guys the other day. Or the ones that was over our property. And ones that I've heard of from people. There was some that they looked up in the trees and there was like these spider webbing falling from the sky. So, you know. <sighs> suspicious things happening. And I'm just walking, not paying attention to where I'm going. Like I know my way around. But this is a good way to go. Just walk on down this road. And then turn around and walk on back. It's just that it gets a little far from the house. Maybe I should not go so far from the house. I will just turn around. Turn around, la la da 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 da. Do do. I don't know the words. Da da da. It's not a song I would sing either. It's just these songs match with words that come out of my mouth, you know, or out of my brain. Life alone versus life with somebody. 
<laughs> you know, life can be a lot easier by yourself. Don't worry about pleasing somebody else. And yes, you can be lazy. <laughs> I haven't sought after riches. Never, ever. In fact, money scared me. Now, I've grown up. And I've way past grown up. <laughs> and the thing is, you know, they say that money is the root of all evil. Okay. Money can be. And I'm sure with money comes temptation. As to what you're going to do with it. So here's the deal. You have to keep your heart pure. And then you have to go about doing good with your money. Do good things. Not bad. And don't try to keep it in a little vault somewhere so that it can't be used. See, maybe I'll start to understand that parable. The parable about the talents. And I, I don't know all of it, okay? But he gave, he had, we'll say he had three servants. And he gave the first one so many talents. And then he gave the second one less talents. Or maybe he did it vice versa, whatever. There were three, they all had different amounts, okay? And I can't remember this story. But it was, what did they do with their talents, okay? So the master went away and he left these three guys with their talents. Well, here's the deal, guys. One of the deals, I never knew. I thought a talent was a talent. You know, things that you can do well. But no, back then, a talent was money. Okay? So he gave so much money to one, and then he gave so much but less to another, and even less to one other. So, I don't know what the different things are that were done. The one with only one, he buried it so that he wouldn't lose it. Well, in his mind, he did the right thing because he was saving it for his master. I mean, that's my take on it, okay? They don't bring that part out, but he's trying to safeguard what he was given, and he was only given, like, one. One. And so he didn't have a lot to work with, you know? And um, the other two did different things with theirs. And then the master came back, you know, maybe the next year or whatever. I don't know when it was. And he wanted to see what they had done with what he'd given them. And so, no, he scolded the one that only had one. I can I can understand when you have none, when you have very little, <laughs> you uh, you be very careful how you spend it. You don't take a gamble. And I think he was talking about faith. I don't know what the story has. To, um, I ought to look it up and read it for us. <laughs> but talents back then in Bible times was money. Okay, and Jesus Christ taught in parables. When he was teaching, when he was teaching the crowds, or also when he was just teaching and there were different um, people of different beliefs were around, okay? So you had your Romans hanging around, and then you had your Jews, and your Pharisees, and and then the zealots and all these different types of groups. And then, you know, I haven't watched The Chosen in a while except for the old episodes. I turned it on the other night. I haven't seen season four. And I dearly love Jesus Christ. And it hurts me when he gets hurt. And you already know the story and you know what's coming. So I'm not really sure how season four, what path it goes.
ridiculous. It's getting close to the crucifixion. Now, I have scattered. <laughs> I wanted to tell you something else. Um, Gerald Lund, the book, the book series I told you about that puts you there. And it's all about Jesus and what's going on around him. And um, one of the things you find out, I mean, it's a very interesting concept, you know, that people don't think about. And I don't think, it's, I don't know if it's in the scriptures because I haven't read them all. But the idea was those people that were out there shouting, crucify him. And when they were given the chance to give up a prisoner or, or give up Jesus, they went for Barabbas. They said, release Barabbas. Well, Barabbas was horrible. Bad, bad, bad guy. And Jesus, here he is, the lamb, the sacrificial lamb. He was there to be sacrificed anyway. It was a plan already laid. So what am I getting at? Those people were paid. They went around and found people that needed money. You know, maybe living in the streets like we have today. People who needed money, who maybe had no moral, uh, whatever they would call that, no morals. Because how could you do that? Then again, if they were thieves, and they were of a shady nature, then they would want to release Barabbas because that's probably their friend. But you know, there's no honor among thieves. Have you heard that before? Anyway, I'm walking down the sidewalk, going around the block. Nancy will be home before long. Anyway, sometimes I never know what I'm gonna, I mean, all the time, I never know what I'm gonna say, okay? And that is how the spirit works. The spirit does work through me. I've seen it. I love that grass. I wonder if there's any bad things in it. You know, like I was talking about the other day, I love to go barefoot in the grass. But you know, <laughs> if people don't pay attention to what, I mean, if they don't clean it up real good when they're planting it and stuff, there's danger down there. You know? glass, goat heads. Uh, they might not have goat heads up here. I think that may be more of a deserty thing. See, so there's another one of those stars. Do you see it on that house? So, it reminds me of Texas, but it also reminds me of the Dallas Cowboys. My daughter was uh, into that. Oh man, I got something in my eyeball. Huh. You know, it's weird. I don't know when all my eyelashes disappeared. But they have been growing back. And if you see a dark line across my eye, it's my eyelashes. I don't have makeup. I don't put makeup on. And when I did, I used to put mascara on when I was young. And I just kept pulling it off. And as I pulled it off, I pulled off my eyelashes. Once upon a time, I had three different layers. I mean, I had three layers of eyelashes. That's some nice eyelashes when I was a kid. Until you go putting that makeup on. I'm a picker. I'm a pick, 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 picker. Uh, they got two barbecue grills out. So they're smoking something over there. And not pot. <laughs> Alright, so let's see if you can see this tree. It's just got its own shape. You know, it's not circular or symmetrical. But it is a nice tree. And once it gets way up there, it's going to be something. <laughs> it's going to take over the light pole. That's a light pole. And there's the trees up there. And a lot of those trees started down. They're not up on a mountain. 
I mean, they start to go down to the ground, a lot of them. Okay, that was a stupid statement. They all go down to the ground. <laughs> but I'm talking about where I'm looking. The ground is way down. So I don't know. Those could be different. In other words, I don't know what the... What do you call it? You know, landscape. But it's like rolling hills. Is it rolling hills? Is it hilly? Is it a mountain over there? Does it go up? Good. I just don't know how old those trees are. And it really doesn't matter. Okay, so here's those things, still. I'm sure you can't see it. They're round balls and they're green. And then there's some up there that are brown. Kind of like these leaves that are gonna fall. Some of them have already started. I'll come over here and look at this bush again and see if there's more blooms. It's one I hadn't seen before. I was showing you guys the other day. It's a big old bush. Okay, it's not plants. I mean, it's a plant that has a lot of this. got that long thing inside of it. I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, there's a bunch of them. Some more buds. So there's going to be a lot more flowers. And then um, Nancy's rose bush has got some blooms. But not where I took the other ones off. They just had some new ones growing. So yeah, deadheading. When they're hanging out of it, if you can just pull that out, a lot of times another one will grow. But I gotta get away from this one because uh, <laughs> it's not my sister's. Okay, I'll go this way. Happy trails to you. There's words in there. But I shortened it to um, that. Happy trails to you until we meet again. But in between until we meet again and the other part, there's some words. So just tell Alexa, play happy trails and she will. And tell her to play the streak and she will. <laughs> okay, I gotta watch what I'm doing. The sidewalk up here is it's coming up. Can you see it? I think maybe you can. I don't know what they're going to do there. But right now, the sidewalk is nice. You know, if you, if you could pick it up and chisel away a place for it to sit straight down, that would be a good thing. Don't know how high up the roots are, though. Okay, so that song is playing in my head. So what did it just say? Something about stormy weather. Happy trails to you. Da -da I don't know the words at all. Not even coming to me. So, my way is fine. <laughs> Happy trails to you until we meet again. <clears throat> Dad looks totally, um, okay, wrong words. Dad looks very good. In other words, he looks happy in his new place. And the church is really big there, okay? And Nathan has lived there forever. I don't know how long he's lived in that house. But he's, you know, when you stay in one place and, and, and you're active at church, you get to know people. You have friends. 
of all different walks of life. A lot of them you can call on for help. It's just nice. It's nice to think, anyway, that you can trust them. Sometimes, sometimes some bad people get in there. I know sometimes good people make bad choices. Temptation comes along. They're, they're, the garage door's open, so they're home. Boy, they are fast. I didn't go walking that far. Fast, fast, fast. Super. Super, super, super duper. Time does escape me a lot. So, that is a pretty big room. Okay, so I'm still going to walk some more because I really need to. No matter what, I need to get my body in better shape, okay? I need to be able to um, be strong. I need to be able to move along. I need to be able to keep up with my fella. And that is one thing about being older that's not cool. There's a few things about being older that's not cool. But being in love with the right person, way cool. So I don't know. Okay. I'd still be walking. Nancy's in the house. Philip was in the car. And it just feels so beautiful out here. Good time of day. Okay. So I don't know. I do know that I need to get up to... Okay. I'm supposed to walk an hour continuously. No. That is my natural paths advice okay talking about reoccurrence of cancer being a lot less if you do that okay so i walked some i never did keep it up and i didn't do the whole hour <clears throat> during those one time so i was doing good i was doing three miles a day not a day Three miles at a time and <laughs> I've said that before I did five miles one day but I was upset about something I just don't know what it was but that's the way to get some work done make me upset so I don't know what happened that was a long time ago no, I can't walk very far, but I've done good. I just saw that I needed to go out and do some more. And I knew that my video got interrupted earlier. And no, contrary to someone's belief, I do not like to argue, but I will. <laughs> I mean, you know. I believe in trying to understand the other guy. And in this case, someone should be understanding me instead of getting mad at me. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is, man, mellow out. And sometimes I do say words I shouldn't say. Because right now I want to say I'm going to smack you upside the head. That comes from my dad, okay? <laughs> and they are just words because I do not mean them you know <laughs> not uh, I wouldn't be beating on somebody is my point unless I needed to to protect myself you know then yeah I need to give myself a I'm going to give myself a scalp treatment scalp and hair and I'm going to use coconut oil And really, I wonder about that fractionated coconut oil because that's pretty cool.
that's an important ingredient in my concoction is the fractionated coconut oil and i think it might help it get into my skin better because it does something to the molecules anyway i'll be walking but it's in the afternoon it's about 7 30 quarter to eight probably because like i said time gets away from me it flies sometimes and i guess i must admit i do get distracted there's no doubt about that i believe i've said that a few times i get distracted very easily So, contrary to popular belief, I have been trying to figure some things out. Yeah, being a perfectionist gets in the way. But there's, like I said, there's just so many words to say. And then there's that part that, that I keep wondering. It's in the middle of the United States. I mean, almost smack dab in the middle. No kidding. My little, this is my little house in um, Kansas. I have a little shack is what I call it. <laughs> I have a little house, a tiny house, in a little tiny town called Downs. Less than a thousand people. I really don't know how much less, but I did like that little town. I just don't like their laws and their, their ways that they do things. But like I said, someone has to get in there and change the law. So by getting involved, you might be able to do that. Yeah, I'm going to stop after this time. I'm fixing to be on her street again. So I'll just only have a couple, three houses to go. Once I get around the corner. Happy trails to you. Till we meet again. Okay, I started to tell you guys about Daz. <laughs> um, I haven't had all the details, but they found a place for dad. There's only eight people, okay? It's an assisted living place, but it's a home. And uh, so he's gonna be very well taken care of. And it's, uh, I don't know if it's five miles or five minutes away from Nathan's house, okay? So he'll be spending a lot of time there with him. But I've got a picture I need to post on, um, I don't know if I've already posted it on Facebook, but I'll post it in my community i keep saying that see about some of the things i need to do post in my community okay so what i also the thing i need to do is figure out if i'm gonna try to fix that house up and live there because that's doable if i'm not out carousing and getting in trouble i shouldn't have any problems and i never did do that see trouble comes to call sometimes you don't got to do anything and trouble comes to call okay oh. i'm glad they're home nancy's so good she's a good mom and a good sister too and a good person <laughs> and she also she's an aide i don't know how to say exactly what it is she is but she's an aide i'm gonna sit down maybe oh she works with special needs kids okay boy oh boy sounds like she goes through the war sometimes and then they got all these rules online. I don't know if I could do it, but she's really good. You know, she she has two of her own that are special needs.
wonder if sometimes if that'll go away. You know, like you grow out of it or something. I've started to be able to pick up words from Luke. In other words, before I could never understand him. And I've, I've heard words come out of his mouth <laughs> that I, I could understand. I'm going, cool, okay. And I had discovered before, you know, there's, there's things that we do. Talking about me. Um, you know, if you get something going on in your head and it's like, like I talked about doing that writing in a journal and I talked about the fact that I was skimming over the top of my thoughts. Okay, I had so many thoughts going on. And so then, then you find yourself skipping right over words, okay? You skip over words and sometimes phrases. You see, I passed over the phone so you couldn't see me. I'm <laughs> going, you know, I do that. Sometimes I do that. And I've noticed with, with texting, let me pull that out. With texting, the same thing, you know, you find yourself leave, leaving out one or two words. Skipping over, okay? So the reason I'm saying that is like Sienna. Nancy was saying she noticed that, that she skips over words. She skips over, and, and what they were, what she was saying was that uh, when they were younger, and that's what they're telling her now too. Is you got to you got to talk in small sentences, and you and you do kind of like do it in phrases. You don't do regular English like us, okay? And she said she was taught she was told anyway that uh, no more than five sentences, no more than five words in a sentence. Um, that's probably too many for the kids that she's teaching. Okay, she's aiding in teaching. And, and sometimes they're not teachable, you know, but you try. I don't know how to describe that. But nevertheless, that's what she was saying. And I was talking about that, skimming over and skipping over words. And, and um, I noticed last year that, uh, I mean, Luke understood me. He just couldn't communicate what he wanted to communicate to me. But he's doing better now. But, but, you know, he plays these games and he plays with other people. And the problem is they have... You never know who he's talking to. And the bad words just flow. And it shouldn't be. You need to watch out for what they're playing, guys. You mothers and fathers and grandparents out there. Because, you know, we just assume, oh, it's okay. No. It's not okay. You need to watch out things going on that we don't know. I mean, things going on in high school. Because they're probably in high school. These kids are 17 and 20. Okay? Luke is fixing to be 17. And Sienna is 20. She's such a sweetheart. She's always got a smile on her face. Most always. <laughs> He's helpful, and Luke is helpful. We're doing good. I mean, last year we had a, me and Luke anyway, had a problem last year, but that got remedied. We haven't had any problems since. Anyway, I don't know what the point of all that was. It must have been a point. <laughs> And I do, I laugh at the wrong things at the wrong time. I mean, I'll, I'll be laughing sometimes at something I remember that was funny from a day or so ago. And sometimes things just go right over my head and then later I get it. And then sometimes I take things wrong. Or I'm, I'm defensive, and I think a lot of us are defensive. And when you're defensive, then you're defending yourself, and sometimes you're defending yourself against something that wasn't there. You know, you assumed 
that you knew what they were saying when you didn't. And you would fly off the handle, and I've done that. I have done that because I'm expecting the worst and I shouldn't be. I'm just worried about where I'm going to be, what I'm going to be doing, and how I'm going to get my treatment, and how I'm going to do all kinds of things. Part of me is sort of okay. <laughs> I've got to, I've got to take care of business. I do have to take care of business, but I just don't know how. No matter where I go, I'm going to have to go ahead and get a new doctor. Okay, so I just got me a new doctor I'm fixing to see this week. I go in on, I think it's Wednesday. I go in on the 11th to this new doctor. And I'm thinking it's right around noonish. I think I did give you dad's update. I think it's part of it anyway. So, I'm not sure if they're going to be able to get my cancer treatment done in time. Maybe I'll just start calling them treatments, not cancer. What it is, is I'm taking two hormone blockers, okay? One is a pill, and the other one is two shots. One in each buttock. But so far, I have not had any trouble. The only, okay, the only trouble I had, and it, it's been real bad, and that was hot flashes. But they have subsided mostly. But so they're taking all my estrogen away, which is what the cancer wants, okay? So if the cancer can't get it, the idea is if the cancer cannot get the estrogen, it should die. It should melt away. I'm hoping that's what that means. Because when I was talking to the oncologist, she says, oh yeah, we can melt that cancer away. I'm going, huh? But she says, then, she says, then your bones will be all holy and they'll collapse on themselves. And that doesn't sound good. So it's like a tiny. So two different hormone treatments, okay? One, I take a pill every day. That's my morning pill. I might start taking them all together. Um, and the other one is an IV. So the, the injections in my butt and the IV solution is once a month and I can have those on the same day and they're not bothering me. And she gave me Gabby Penn. I might not be saying it right, but she gave me Gabby Penn for the hot sweat, for the hot flashes. It's like all of a sudden I'm sitting there and all of a sudden out of nowhere, I'm just covered in sweat. You know, like I said before, even between my fingers, it's weird. Weird, weird, weird. So, I'm glad that Gabby Patton is working. And I'm not taking as much as she told me to take. Yeah, you know, she told me to take very little in the beginning. She said take one a day, and if that doesn't work, take two. And they're just 100 milligram Gabby Pattons. Okay, well, it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work at all. So then when I told her, one or two visits later, because I didn't get to see her one visit, <clears throat> because her assistant, they rotate. So anyway, and she heard I was having horrible hot flashes and stuff, and she said two in the morning, two in the afternoon, and two before you go to bed. And then I didn't do, oh, three before you go to bed. I said, then I didn't do it, because Gabby Patton puts you to sleep. In the middle of a conversation and you go to sleep. Plus other reasons can cause you to do that. Like my brain, if it gets too confused, it shuts down and I won't go to sleep. <laughs> I've noticed that. 
you know, sometimes something can be real confusing and you're trying to understand it, but you just don't get it. So I don't know how to explain that very well. But, you know, learning, just learning stuff can be confusing. Like when I went and took that secretarial course, I found that when we were taught, we were taught, we were instructed, okay? And then we would have a quiz on Wednesday and a, a final test on Friday. And so the first part of the week, Monday, Tuesday, you're learning all this stuff. All this stuff is coming at you and you're confused, okay? Wednesday, you have the quiz. Then you find out by your answers on the quiz what you need to study. You know, what haven't you gotten? What did you get? So you know what else you need to learn. So you guys out there taking a quiz on Wednesday, don't be so freaked out that if you don't get 100. Some of you don't care, but I did. I like hundreds. <laughs> I like straight A's. And I got them. It was amazing. Because I took Business English 1 and Business English 2. And you need what's in one to go over and learn the two. You'd already know one. I don't know if that's making any sense to you. I really ought to go in and say hi to some people. I said hi to a fellow who was sitting in the car. I'm sure they had an emotional weekend. You know, celebration of life can be a good thing. And plus all the people that come together that you haven't seen in years. It's a good thing. But then it's a sad thing. But we need to figure out how to be happy about it. Because it is part of life. You know, not that I'm going to be happy when I leave. See, so that sounded what? Hypocritical? I can see both sides of the street. Sometimes it might seem like I'm a hypocrite when I'm not. I believe both sides. And then, you know, sometimes you just have to make a decision. Which side of the street are you going to be on? <clears throat> well, why can't you be on both sometimes? You know? I don't know how to give an example. But some of you might know what I mean it's not black and white things are not black and white yes or no sometimes there's a shady area there and I'm not talking about shady as in bad I'm talking about <clears throat> it's not black and white I don't know how to explain it I guess it doesn't really matter it doesn't really matter to me I hear somebody. Hi. What's Caroline doing? I'm laying in my bed. Okay. She's awake. She's just okay. They just got home tonight. They've been on planes all day, I think. Must have went on several planes. They landed in Francisco, and they landed in Portland, and they landed in Seattle. How many planes did you take? Just only two? Two there, two there. But she said you landed in, didn't she say San Francisco? Did yeah. you? Monterey to San Francisco, San Francisco, Seattle, Seattle, San Fran, San Fran, Monterey. So only. But you stopped in Seattle, right? We landed in Seattle. And you landed in Portland? No. Oh. It's never Portland. She said you landed in Portland. Sure. I'll go find it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we never, never landed in Portland. There'd, wow. be, there'd be something wrong with that one. Okay, because I couldn't understand. No, she, uh, anyway. uh, now, Morgan and Greg are stopping in Klamath Falls tonight. They're probably there now. And then they're going to go to Bend, Oregon tomorrow. Tomorrow's what? Monday? So they're probably going to be back Monday or Tuesday. So they got a nice drive. Yeah, it is. It, I mean, depending on where you go, I would like to go to the Redwoods. I want to go to a few places. I figured Nancy would wake up with um, not feeling so great this morning. No? <laughs> I 
right. Listen, you guys, I'm going to get off here. Okay. I had my second part of my walk. I'm going to talk to my brother-in-law. <laughs> Bye.